Hey guys, hope you're well this evening. Today I wanted to shoot for you guys a skincare routine, my client's skincare routine. I have not been doing much of skincare because I've been busy with the kids, online learning, uploading work, helping nannies in the house. So today I have a full face beat I was shooting, so I wanted to show you the process of cleaning my makeup, what I've been doing to help with the current skin issues that I'm facing. So currently I'm facing this um, skin problem where my skin is very dry. I don't know it's because of the, of the heat and the drastic weather changes. It's very dry. I think also because I've not been able to do my hydrafacial, I usually do it once every two months. I've not done it for four months. Places have been closed. Uh, the source made this is closed. That's why I do my hydrafacial. At night, I've not been having time to mask and stuff. Not also taking enough water and hydrating. So my face is going through a very dry spell. If you can see under my eyes, it's very dry and flaky. And after traveling, uh, change of environment, that's what has affected my skin. So I'm dealing with a dry face. I'll be showing the products I'm using. Most of them are mostly clinic. Once I use it continuously, like twice or thrice a week, it usually improves my skin condition. But also guys, you always say diet, hydrating also plays a part. So I'll go straight into it, show you the products and start the process. I'll show you in order of what I'll be doing. So I'll start with the clinic cleansing balm. You all know guys, I swear by this. My skin is very dry, so I like using something that is ba a balm. It's oil-based. I was told to stop using coconut oil, memory badari. So yeah, I'm using Clinique. After that, I will be using the... I'll just use this cloth from uh, Sephora. I apply the, the balm and then wipe it off. That's the first cleansing process. The second cleansing process, I'll be using this brush together with the Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. Then by then all my, my face will be extremely clean. I will use some cotton together with um, this makeup remover to remove my mascara and the eyeliner, which sometimes doesn't come off by washing. Then after that, I will use this exfoliator followed by a charcoal mask. And then I will apply the serum and apply my hydrating night cream so this is a difference i'll show you the difference so guys this is my daytime hydrating uh moisturizer and this is my nighttime so this is pink and this is white today because it's at night in the evening i'll be using this one and then yeah that's it some mask on my lips some um exfoliating mask on my lips because i have very dry lips and then yeah i have this clinic um deep body butter that I use on my hands and my body before I sleep and I'll be good to go. So I'll go straight into it. I usually use uh, hot water. It makes the makeup melt away faster. So that's the balm. So I'm done with the cloth and the balm. I'll be removing the eye makeup before I cleanse the second time. So my next step will be using the brush and the foaming cleanser to do a second round of cleansing. So I'll just wet that. Awesome.
guys, I'm done with the cleansing. As you can see, my face is clean. I can still see a bit of the eyeliner on my eyes, so I'll try to remove that. But I've done the cleansing twice. A quarantine is really look at my head, as in I've never had my hair like this. But yeah, what to do? I plan to go to the salon soon. So I'm trying to remove. See, there's still some stuff. That's why my makeup is hard to remove. Okay, that will have to do for tonight. I have many other things to do. So next, I will be using the Clinique Exfoliator, like I showed you guys. So I just put some on the pad. Sorry guys, you know how rough I am. And then, I rub it on my skin. It's itchy, a bit itchy. I'm going to be alcohol. Wow. You can feel the tingling effect. I'll use another swab. Uh, I'm done exfoliating. The tingling effect has gone. Now I'll be putting the mask. It's a city block. Purifying charcoal mask. Just with the brush a bit. I don't like touching it with my hand. So just put the mask like that. I'll be putting this lip mask. On my lips, I usually have very dried up lips, so I mean, a lip mask is important for me. As I wait for the, my mask to dry, guys, I just like to know how are you guys doing, how are you coping. It's very, very important to do self care right now. Take care of yourself. Self care can be taking a walk, um, reading a book for 30 minutes a day, um, chatting with your friends, putting some time aside to chat with your friends, other mothers who are going through the same thing. Um, what else? What else do I do? Like a skincare routine like I do today. I wouldn't like to I don't have time to do it every day. But try and find time. Otherwise you burn out. And I wouldn't like to you guys sometimes I do feel like I'm burning out. I was joking the kids that I need to send them somewhere for a week. Because I get to sleep maybe at one by the time I look at their books, upload work, help the nannies, go around the house and sure it's clean with my OCD. Um if you are someone like me who suffers from insomnia, try and find ways to get better sleep. And for me, what has been helping is to have a nighttime routine where I go to bed like now, like I say, every day at one o'clock, and sure, maybe I'm reading a book. If you have the calm up, you're using it, taking chamomile tea. What else? Use CBD oil if you have guys which I'm looking for. If anyone knows where you can get CBD oil, let me know. I hear it helps. Use essential oils, use a humidifier. Thing that can make you get good sleep because if you don't sleep well, the next day you're cranky, you're annoyed, uh, you're shouting at the kids at every small thing which happens to me sometimes and I realize that I'm being unfair or I'm not being reasonable. So try ladies to remember to take care of yourself in whatever way self-care is to you. Um, I feel like uh, without that then we won't make it through this uh, pandemic, we will make it through this quarantine. And also it would be nice to know what you guys are using for your skin issues, what are the products you're using currently, what issues are your skin facing. So let's share and learn from one another. Guys, a polite reminder to stay at home, only live when necessary. I'll be very honest, it's strange for me to stay home a whole day, but imagine I'm doing it, I'm being kept busy by online learning, by things that I have to do in the house. Go outside only when it's necessary. You can do online shopping, there's Chagarana, there's Glovo. If you can't find something in a supermarket, look for an alternative. You don't need to go and expose yourself. Self-isolation, when you go set for a walk, wear your mask. Try and minimize the number of visitors who come to your house. Protect yourself, guys, because it's only for a very short time. And then the, the more we follow the rules, the more we listen, the faster we we'll go back to normal. I know there's a lot of anxiety, and you need to be aware of the mental stress that it's bringing to all of us. So like I said, self-care will help us uh, be able to stay sane and help us to not stumble the children. 
and the husband. I'm joking, guys. So yeah, take care of yourselves. Uh, Self so isolate. Go tell only where necessary and sanitize and maintain cleanliness as much as you can. My mask is dry now. Like com not completely dry, but then there's no question we have to go do other things. So I'm going to wash it off. I prefer washing my mask uh, in the shower so that I can wash everywhere, but for the purpose of showing you the process, that's why I'm using a cloth. My face feels quite fresh. It's like my pores are finally dripping after all that makeup. During the day when I had makeup today, my face felt very tight. It was very dry. And I mentioned earlier, I'm dealing with a lot of dryness. It's ready for it to dry. Then I will apply uh, the serum and then the Moisturizer, Cicera. I'm usually very generous with the serum. Especially when my skin is dry, like now. My face feels clean and fresh. It's the serum. And then I'll be using the clinic um, eye serum with my eyeballs, with my insomnia, so I just rub the ball like that. You can see my dark circles. With these things, you just have to have faith they work. You're putting an effort, that's the best you can do. And then eventually, I'll take my night cream, which is the white one. This is a night cream and a day cream. Apply also your neck. I'm usually dry around the mouth. So I apply the clinic body butter cream on my body before I sleep and on my hands. I tend to neglect my hands, but nowadays as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that uh, it's showing the sunburn as you can see. So I apply on my hands. And then definitely I'll spray something. Smell nice. And I am done. That's my current skincare routine, guys. It marks the end of the video. Let me know what you guys are doing in terms of self-care, in terms of your skincare routine, what issues are you facing, what products are you using. For me right now, Clinic is working for me. And you can see I have from cleansers to moisturizers to uh, body butters. So I decided to just be loyal for three months and see the effect on my face because it's really dry right now. So I'm using the range for the hydrating range for dry skin. Uh, share with me and let you know what you guys are using and what um, self-care tips do you have but even I can borrow from you guys. Until next time guys, bye bye. Oh, no, no, no. So guys, I forgot to mention, please don't forget to subscribe, to share and to like and let me know what other content you'd like to see. Bye guys.